Sure. So I, I'm not a fan of stock trading. I, I don't think it's generally a good idea. I think stocks, the advantage we have is we can buy it and we can hold it through thick and thin. So I enjoy a bear market. I enjoy a recession because it just means great stocks are cheaper for longer and I can buy them every week at lower prices. It's like... Um, it's like a, a never-ending summer sale kind of thing. So I think, again, the psychology there, you kind of need to reverse the initial reaction. Oh, my God, it's down 30%. You know, let's run. No, actually, if it's a good business, that's exactly what you want. Uh, the reason I like options trading is it's probably the only method where retail investors with our more limited access to information than everything else are actually able to generate very high returns with very low risk. Uh, so every trade, the, so my strategy in a nutshell is a, is, a, is a copied and somewhat adjusted process of what Wall Street options traders do. Uh, but you know, you can literally do it with a thousand dollars or a thousand pounds or whatever it is. Um, we only do trades with an 80% probability or more of success. That's the starting point. Um, we only sell options, we never buy options, which is again where retail tends to go wrong. Um, and I'll gladly explain <laughs> the reason for that in a sec. Um, and we are market neutral. So I don't really care whether the stock goes up or down. So for example, last week Netflix reported um, and I set up a trade that Netflix would, I think I thought it was, would, would fall. Uh, in fact, I think it went up 20%. I made still the maximum profit on that trade, and I was wrong by 20%. And you can't do that with stocks. With stocks, it's binary. You are right or you're wrong, right? It's 50-50. Whereas with options, you can make that 80 or 90% in your favor. And that's really something that obviously takes a little bit of explaining, and there's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but it isn't hugely technical. Um, anybody can do it, anybody can understand it. And it also takes very little time. You don't need to stare at charts. You can do this in an hour or two a week. Um, I've got um, mentees who do it on Saturdays because they have very busy jobs. And then during the week, they don't do anything at all. And you know, my, my options portfolio is up 121% so far this year. And we're just you know, over half, halfway through the year. And that isn't a fluke. That isn't one great big trade. Um, it's about 200 very small trades. And, and that's the other thing. It's understanding how to diversify, how to do the risk management. And every one of those trades also has a limited defined risk. So it isn't this open-ended, you know, people short stocks and they could lose their shirt on that. Uh, we don't do that. I do a trade and I can make $200 or I could lose $800. That's the definition. So I know exactly where I am with that. So it's, again, something that isn't really very well understood. Uh, retail investors sort of got into options trading really only a couple of years ago with uh, some of the more popular brokerage platforms when they kind of started to offer, offer options. Um, and unfortunately, it kind of encourages people to do the wrong thing. People buy call options, people you know, buy put options, because people think something's going to go down or up. So they treat it like a stock, which is the wrong way of doing it. Uh, or the worst thing is people buy leap options, which is sort of the equivalent of going to a racetrack and betting on the horse to run here in three years' time on a day that you won't be there. It's just gambling, nothing but gambling. And, and of course, you can be right with it if you're lucky if the market continues to go up. But that only works in a you know, 2020, 2021 kind of a, a, a bull market where everybody's a genius. Unfortunately, these strategies don't work in, in most other um, markets. So what I basically teach all of my students, and I keep showing it as well on the YouTube channel, is to actually trade the way Wall Street does it. And that's how we make money. Um, all the other stuff, honestly, the wheel strategy and all the stuff that's being peddled to real, um, retail and traders, it's just it only works in certain markets, and, and that's the problem with it. You really want a strategy that actually works in all markets, um, up, down, sideways. And I mean, the market's been brutal this year, and uh, we've made money every single month, uh, double-digit returns every single month. And I think it kind of leads us also into the whole mindset thing, is that people look at that, and you, I get two reactions. One, the guy's crazy, that can't be true. Um, the other one is, it's incredibly risky, otherwise how could he make the returns? And then a smaller percentage of people go, hmm, I'm curious, um, you know, show me more. Um, and unfortunately, we've all been kind of conditioned to think you should get 8% returns a year, you should get a, give a third of it to the tax man, a third of it to your financial advisor and, 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 and bank, and uh, you should be satisfied with the rest. 
is that what happens in the financial industry? No, like, what, you know, why are there floors and floors of traders in every bank? Because they make an incredible amount of money. So this whole theory that you can't make money trading is just not true. But if you don't know how to do it, you lose your shirt. So unfortunately, we've just been taught to have very low expectations of, of, of investing, I think. And, uh, and what I really enjoy doing is kind of open people's minds and then actually teaching them and, and seeing the, the joy and jubilation when they start to make these returns. And they're just like, oh my God, how is that possible? I really didn't think it. Like, I've got one of my, my coaching students, he's a, he's, a, he's a US attorney, and he just couldn't, he, could, he, was, he watched me for a year till he kind of, um, got the, um, the nerve, in a sense, to, 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 to have a chat with me about it. And he is just the most, I don't know, ardent supporter of it now. He's so excited by it. Why? Because he's got a great job, but he's thinking, hey, I could actually retire. I could actually do this. I could have another income stream, and I could work less. And I think using your motivation of what you actually want in life, whether that's paying for your children or, you know, buying that house or uh, retiring or just living the life you actually want to live. If you can channel that as a motivation to become a better investor, whether that's just buying stocks for the long haul or, you know, uh, uh, learning options trading, um, that's really what makes the difference. So I think we need to all find that within ourselves um, to, to kind of really, you know, make a real difference uh, to our own lives and everybody else's.